the proposed arena at Atlantic Yards, an analysis of city fiscal gains and losses. Along with the documents, we sent the following cover letter. Dear Sirs, we respectfully submit the attached material for your consideration during your deliberations on the proposed modified general project plan for the Atlantic Yards Arena and Development Project in Brooklyn. The MGPP presents a very real possibility that only the arena will be built in the foreseeable future. Our local elected officials requested the New York City Independent Budget Office to produce a study of the financial benefits to the city and state of New York of the arena portion of the project. The study concluded that the arena would be a net loss for the city and produce minimal gains for the state, as well as very few meaningful jobs other than the construction of the arena itself. Since the ESDC's purpose is both economic development and job creation, the Atlantic Yards Arena does not qualify for the continued support of the ESDC. CBN commissioned two studies as part of our formal <coughs> comments on the MGPP, which cast serious doubt on the likelihood for a timely completion of the project. The first, Atlantic Yards, a decades-long project, was produced by the noted firm Carr Real Estate Investment Advisors. It concludes that the project is described, particularly the timeline, is simply not feasible. The second study, the Atlantic Yards Plan, and why a new environmental review is required by Dr. Tom Anxiety, director of the Hunter College Center for Community Planning and Development, makes an incontrovertible case for the production of a supplemental environmental impact statement for the vastly altered Atlantic Yards project. We believe you will find this information extremely informative. We urge you to reject the MGPP and to call for an SEIS at the upcoming ESDC board meeting. That concludes the text of our cover letter. Since our response to the modified general project plan was published, there have been further revelations regarding the Atlantic Yards development. One week ago on September 10th, the Daily News published a story titled, Bruce Ratner unveils futuristic Atlantic Yards Nets Arena design after critics blasted barn design. In the story was the following. Ratner said he hopes to have the entire project, which includes 16 offices and residential towers done in 10 years, but acknowledged it could take as long as 25. Quote, I don't know, unquote, if the 10-year timeline will pan out, he said. Quote, our job is to get this done as fast as possible, unquote. Ratner yeah, vowed to begin episode. construction on the arena by the end of the year. This daily news story indicates that even the developer doesn't believe that a 10-year build-up for Atlantic Yards is possible. This is further evidence that a supplemental environmental review statement is required before this project can be approved. Certainly, adding 15 years to the timeline of the project would necessarily mean that a substantial portion of a 22-acre project will remain undeveloped and blighted because of the developer's demolition and inaction for 15 to 20 years significantly changes the adverse impacts on the environment. And because the developer has indicated that the undeveloped acreage will be used as a parking lot before it is developed, the impact on traffic alone requires a supplemental review. Additionally, as of this morning, there have been no public responses by the ESDC to negative comments made by the community to the modified general project plan. If the ESDC board proceeds with approval of the modified general project plan, it will have failed in its obligations to the public and will have ignored the clear requirements of state law. The board cannot expect that their community will sit by and allow this to happen. This board should understand that if it does only the developer's bidding, the community will ask the court to require the ESDC to do its job. Thank you.